I want to talk to you today all about golf gloves. How do you best spend your money? Because these are one of the things that you can sort of certainly go through a lot throughout a season. How do you know they fit right? What is the right material for you for the budget that you want to spend? Because as we know, like we see so many different options and I want to give you a little bit of advice about how to choose the right one for you. Let's firstly talk about fit. So no matter what glove you are buying or what glove you like to wear, this has to be right. Now, this is a little bit of an older glove now, so it's actually got a little bit too big for me. So when you're buying a glove, bear in mind it should fit like a second skin. That is how I would think about this because they tend to, over a period of time, start to stretch. So what should happen here is when you, when you tie your glove, you should have no excess glove on your palm, no excess glove at the top of your fingers. As you can see right now, I'm starting to get a little bit of that. So nice and simply, it should feel when you first put it on a little bit tight because bear in mind, you're gonna wear that glove for three or four rounds, maybe even the rest of the season. At that end point, it's gonna to start to feel a little bit saggy. Now, if, if you are like me and you do have short fingers, there is something that you can get. It's called a cadet. And that means the palm is, how do you say this, normal size, but the fingers a little bit shorter. So nice and simple. If you use that simple rule of buy it tighter than you probably need to, have it fitting like a second skin and make sure it's nice and tight and no excess on the fingers or across the palm. Okay, I wanna get into, I'm just purely hitting some balls just to keep warm here. Materials, there's loads of different materials. There's loads of different options from full leather, sort of a hybrid, and then your synthetics. Right, let's talk pros and cons of each. Let's get into the video. Let's start with the leather glove. Have a look at that. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, this is the glove that I prefer the most. It's its most supple of the three materials that you can get, and it is said to give you the best feel. So when you've got it on there, you're gonna feel as though that club, I don't know, the best, the best way I'd describe it is, everything just feels a little bit softer, and in my opinion, really, really nice as you're gripping. Now. There are a few drawbacks of wearing a leather glove like this. Number one, if your grip does slip, it will wear quicker. So you'll tend to go through a lot more of these than say your other versions we're gonna talk about. And also, if you do get them a little bit wet, well, good night. It, it just goes absolutely crap. So first and foremost, the leather glove will be your most expensive, but actually, probably be your best feeling glove, in my opinion. And if you're looking for a perfect summer glove, this is where I would go. Let's move on to our second glove. This is a synthetic glove. So like a leather lookalike um, to it. So with this one, I actually quite like the sort of stretchy material on this. Now, there are some benefits to a synthetic golf club. Number one, they're gonna be a little bit cheaper. They do look like a leather glove and they will last longer. So depending how much you play and when you play, this could be a very, very good option. Don't forget the end, I'm gonna tell you exactly what the best sort of routine is for you to use on the right gloves. Now, for me, there are a few downsides to this. After wearing that leather glove and now using this one, that feel of sort of the grip and the glove together doesn't feel as premium. It doesn't feel as nice and also, these aren't very breathable. So if you're gonna be wearing this glove in hotter climates, unlike what we are in right now, then you are gonna find that your hand doesn't breathe as much through a golf club just like this. And it just, yeah, the feel, the word I'd use is it just feels a little bit plasticky. So good time and place for a glove like this, but honestly, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good as a real leather one. This is a hybrid golf glove. Now I think this is a really good mix. So as you can see here, this part of the golf club, this top, top edge is a synthetic glove, okay? 
Underneath, we have some leather bits on our thumb and some leather bits on our palm. So this gives you that combination of a cheaper glove, but with some feel in those main contact areas of the thumb and that pad. I think it's a really good combination um, of glove glove because you get that performance benefits of a leather glove, mostly, but you don't have to sort of go at that price. So for example, roughly when I was in a golf club, this was probably the most sold glove in the golf pro shop and around about 10 to 12 pounds. Whereas if you were going for a leather glove, you're sort of looking upwards of maybe 15, 16 pounds. So if you're someone who goes through golf clubs like confetti, <laughs> this could be a really good option for you. I really like the leather palm. It feels kind of nice and spongy on there as well. So a nice thinking about this one, a hybrid glove is the best of both worlds. You get a cheaper price, but you're still getting that performance and feel of a leather glove. Now I wanna, before we go into sort of what I would do and how I would buy my golf gloves is I wanna look at this on the side of the screen here. So if you're someone who has arthritis or struggles with their fingers, there's something called a bionic golf glove. Um, basically, they've just got extra padding on the fingers and that's always a great option if you are someone who struggles to hold that golf club. Okay, let's get into the next bit. And finally, we've not even mentioned this and this is something that I would definitely, 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 definitely think about. If you were a golfer that is wanting to play all year round is a wet glove, okay? Or the warm set. I just prefer the wet glove and I just like them just on my glove hand. Now, Word of caution with these, I hate it, right? When I see golfers use these and they're not wet, you will burn through these like a match and paper. Gone, up in smoke. Please make sure if you're using a glove like this, you're going through the same fitting aspects, but also you're making sure it's wet because it will feel, one word for it, terrible if it's not. How do you best spend your money? Because these are one of the things that you can sort of certainly go through a lot throughout a season. So this is my best bit of buying advice for you. Number one, I would buy a leather glove. A leather glove just to use on those hot, crisp summer days, maybe even on holiday. If there's an ounce of rain in the air, get it away. So this would be your most expensive glove. Next up, I would go for a hybrid glove. I would use this as my, well, all weather glove in terms of a little bit damp in the air, winter weather, um, maybe not as much of a nice day. This is a great option because you're still getting that cheaper price you don't mind if it gets ruined but again you get a little bit of that premium leather performance and finally we mentioned this before a wet glove wet gloves have to be something that you have in your bag especially if you play in the UK and Manchester so best spending your money for a season you could buy these at the start of a season get yourself set up with three really good options and potentially this will probably last you two or three seasons depending where you play in the world, but definitely look at these two.